I'm Josh Hutcherson, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. Did I do something? Probably. What is Josh Hutcherson known for? I'm known for making movies, and now I'm a meme. I'm happy about that, but I'm excited to get back to being known for movies as well. How did Josh Hutcherson become an actor? I was a young boy. <laughs> Uh, the ripe young age of age of nine years old. I got out a phone book, which many of you might not be familiar with. I called an agency in Cincinnati and said that I wanted to be an actor, and they were like, let's talk to your parents. And I was like, well, they're at work. Then my parents were like, this kid will not stop, and they got behind me, and then we drove to California, stayed in a motel, and uh, started making movies. Josh Hutcherson, new movie. Yeah, I have The Beekeeper, which is coming out now, January 12th. This guy, Derek, that I play in Beekeeper is like completely unhinged. He's a crypto bro, multi-billionaire privileged dickhead, if I may say. So just kind of getting to play something that out there and wild was, uh, was a lot of fun. Where has Josh Hutcherson been? I've been taking it easy. Recharge my batteries, fall in love again with being on set and working hard. And you're not gonna have to ask this one. What Josh Hutcherson character are you? I'm not Derek Danforth from The Beekeeper. I'm not PETA because I don't have blonde hair anymore. I might be closest to like Mike from Five Nights at Freddy's in a way. He's like from a smaller town, salt of the earth kind of guy. I connect with that kid. Josh Hutcherson, hometown. I am from Union, Kentucky. It's a lovely place. When I drink bourbon, that's when the Kentucky really comes out. The accent starts to slip, and then all of a sudden it's like rubber derber, and then it just all goes downhill. Josh Hutcherson, mullet. I would love to rock a mullet. My guy who cuts my hair, I, he's always like, "Do you want to do the mullet thing?" And I'm always like, "Yeah, but I'm scared." Is this a sign? I mean, this is a sign, but like, maybe I should go for it. Josh Hutcherson, siblings. Yes, I have my little brother Connor. He's the best. We're super close. Our parents always made it. Very important that like the family had to be together like maximum like two weeks apart, three weeks apart kind of thing. And whatever film that I was making, we would have it in my contract as like an 11 year old that they would get extra plane tickets for my dad and brother to be able to come out and see us. We've maintained a very, very good relationship over the years. Is Josh Hutcherson a Libra? Got it tattooed in case I forget. I was 16 when I got this tattoo. I'm actually a double Libra. Libra main one and Libra rising. So I'm very uh, in search of the balance, so they say. I'm happy with it. Is Josh Hutcherson fluent in Spanish? A ver, creo que fluent para mí es un poco demasiado, pero a la vez yo creo que yo puedo más o menos básicamente explicar lo que quiero y básicamente entiendo todo. So, basically. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> Why Josh Hutcherson became a meme? I know my girlfriend, like, I guess she posted something on Instagram and then the comments just became people like with this meme and this meme and looked into it and she was like, baby, there's some meme of you from 2014 whistle video. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And then I found out and it's like a thing. Why was Josh Hutcherson dancing? Cause I was dancing. Why aren't you dancing? Why was anybody ever dancing? Cause dancing's great. Josh Hutcherson, Ultraman, I dubbed this really cool show uh, for Netflix called Ultraman. It's like a, a Japanese anime type show. And they came to me to do a season of this like a few years ago, but it's a really cool show. And, and then they actually had me come back and do another season of it and hopefully more. Cause they had the original in Japanese. They've done a translation and you're trying to match basically the syllables in the translation, but it doesn't always fit. So it's like a fun, creative challenge of like, how can I rewrite this line to fit with the syllables and match what the character's trying to say? How old was Josh Hutcherson in Bridge 2? I'm gonna guess it's gonna say Terabithia. Terabithia. I think I was 12? I guess I have a little bit of a knack for finding like beloved books and then bringing them to life because Bridge of Terabithia was like a required reading book in many schools. And so I think that it definitely was a, a great sort of bridge <laughs> to like the rest of my younger career. Can Josh Hutcherson draw? I can't. I can do like the like early 2000s S thing because I used to write my name that way with J-O-S-H. Is Josh Hutcherson Real. Yeah, I'm real. We're all real. <laughs> Is Josh Hutcherson taken? I have a girlfriend, yes, but like, 
I'm I'm me, and I'm 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 here for the world. Is Josh Hutcherson fit? I can run a fair distance, and I've been on like a new like health kick lately. But overall, I'd say I'm I'm fit. Did Josh Hutcherson audition for Spider-Man? Yeah, <laughs> I did. The Andrew Garfield version. One of my friends who had been my stunt double for a few movies, he and I went down to this like stunt training gym called 8711 and we decided to shoot me doing some Spider-Man stunts. I didn't get it, but the crazy thing is like, I think a month after that, I got cast in Hunger Games. Does Josh Hutcherson have tattoos? One here, one here, a huge one on my back that I forget about because I never see it. And then when I see it in a picture, I'm like, oh, Jesus, that's so big and colorful. Why? I don't know, man. I just went through a phase where I thought I was kind of like maybe a pirate or something. And so I just would go and get these like Sailor Jerry massive anchors and boats and stuff. And regret's not the right word <laughs> because they remind me of who I was. But it also, when I sit down and have to do like an extra two hours of makeup to cover these tattoos, it's like, I don't, think it's worth it. Does Josh Hutcherson sing? No, I do not sing. One of my biggest, this is a regret, is that I never like learned music or singing or any, any kind of lessons like that. And they say it's like never too late to learn something. I feel that like learning instruments and stuff I, I can maybe do, but singing, my voice doesn't listen to what the note needs to be. Does Josh Hutcherson still play baseball. Well, there's a thing that us older people do, it's called softball, and it's similar, but it's way less risky. The ball is large and soft, and I, I do play some softball from time to time with a bunch of dads, like in Echo Park, and it's very, uh, it's very chill. But I did actually get a softball injury a few months back, and I couldn't run for like two weeks, and I was like, this is where I'm at. Who does Josh Hutcherson play in Hunger Games. Peter Malark in The Hunger Games. I always say it was kind of like my college experience because I didn't go to college. It's a weird university. It was a time in my life, you know, we were all over the world. Me, Jen, Liam, Woody, Jenna, all had such like a, a great tight group of, of like a little family. It was the best, man. I, I miss it. I miss it dearly. It was a lot of fun. Who does Josh Hutcherson play in FNAF? That's Five Nights at Freddy's, for those who don't know. I play Mike Schmidt, and I am the night guard. And if you're familiar with the game, you know that that is kind of the character that you're playing. I have no patience when it comes to video games, so if I'm like, especially in the first iteration of the game, if I'm sitting there, I just, I need to move and do stuff, and I just kept dying. So I'm just gonna live it out in the, in the movies and let you guys keep beating the games. Does Josh Hutcherson know the FNAF lore? <laughs> Piper Rubio, who plays my little sister in Five Nights, she is, hardcore fanatic and last time I saw her she gave me like a two-hour breakdown of like the lore of every game with the characters who come in and they go and then this character is there because of this and that but it was a lot to retain and I I didn't retain it so I'm not super familiar with the lore which means I'm very excited to read the next script and see where they take it when did Josh Hutcherson host SNL I've never done theater or like live performances of any sort so my first ever like live audience performance was hosting Saturday Night Live. It was a lot of fun and just how hard they work and their process is absolutely mind blowing. One of the things that, that messed me up the most is they were like, whatever you do, do not try to memorize anything. That's like what I do, I memorize. And then they're like, no, because even after you do the first live run through, they're gonna change the jokes. It's gotta be on your feet, on your feet and just go for it. Oh, I would happily do it again. Well, those are all the boards. Google's a weird place. You guys have a lot of interesting minds out there. Yeah, it's been fun. 